Hello everybody, this is George with Malnix Automotive working in a 2019 Honda Civic with no sound. As you can see, my volume control goes up and down, but there's no sound coming out of the speakers whatsoever. I'm going to show you how to fix this problem if you have this problem on the Honda Civic. A couple things could be wrong with it. You could possibly have a bad amplifier it could be bad fuse, it could be broken fusible link and I'll show you how to test it. So I have my Honda diagnostic screen on my laptop here and uh, this is not US, not Canada production, this is an English production vehicle. So here's what we're going to do first. First of all we started the car, we verified if there's any sound. There's absolutely zero sound, okay? Next, what, I would, what I'm going to do, I'm going to press this button here. That's for the dim screen, phone, and volume button. I'm going to press all these three buttons at the same time. What we want to do, we would like to go into a self-diagnostic screen. We need to check if, if amplifier is in green. All right, so the screen just changed uh, to this screen. Next, we're going to select self-diagnosis mode. And... Basically what the vehicle did, it went through all the modules and checked and as we, as we could see our amplifier is in red. So we have a problem with our amplifier. I suspect that it was going to be a bad amplifier, but we're still not sure. We got to do a few, uh, few more checks before we say it's an amplifier. So we're going to go ahead and get out of this option. As you can see, still no sound. My volume is at 34, but the zero sound coming out of speakers. So here's what I'm going to do next. All right, so looking, looking at our diagnostic chart, is the amp icon in green? We're going to go no. It's going to take us to a next step to check the fuses. Uh, so if your vehicle is USA and Canada production, it's going to be fuse number... Uh, 20 um, underneath the hood but if it's not uh, like this is an English production vehicle so it's going to be fusible link um, it's going to be A1-4 which I'll show you where it's located we're going to go ahead and check that underneath the hood okay we're looking at the back of the fuse box cover and uh, as you could see fuse number 4 it's going to be fusible link it says premium amp right here this is what it looks like on the car right here. So one, two, three, four, it's a 30 amp right here. In order for us to pull this out and you would have to replace, if it's blown, you're gonna have to replace the whole entire link. Okay, we're gonna use either Phillips, Phillips size uh, screwdriver or just size eight millimeter socket. You're gonna remove both of these screws out of here. We're gonna lift and check. If that's good, next we'll be checking the amplifier. And you want to disconnect your battery before removing the link. So make sure your battery terminal is disconnected. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out. Since I'm holding the camera with one hand, I'm gonna have to uh, put the camera down. And But I'll give you a little uh, tip. There's a little clip right here. We, we want to pull this clip away just like this and then work the link up. All right, so I pulled it out. This is what it looks like. It's a fusible link. As you can see, my 30 amp is blown. All right, so I got a new part. I'm going to go ahead and put it in. We'll see if the sound comes on after replacing the fuse. I'm almost positive we're going to have a sound. Make sure you reconnect your battery. All right, it may take a minute for the radio to load. Probably gonna take 
a minute for this thing to all come back on and load as the link was disconnected it had no power I'm gonna pause for a second, wait for it to long uh, to load, so I don't have you guys waiting, watching me. Okay, so everything loaded. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna go to audio. There you go. I could hear the beeping. Before I couldn't hear, I couldn't hear anything beeping at all. Anytime at two one six eight six two. There you go. So my radio is working. Online at Ohio Roof Once again, thanks for watching. This was George with Melnick Automotive.